what is going on everybody i have finally returned and it's been a minute i've been very busy i have started the fire academy i'm currently in my second week of the fire academy and i just wanted to share some thoughts as to why did i decide to go into emergency medicine now this topic in particular is a fairly elaborate one but i'm going to focus on one particular aspect of emergency medicine which is the medicine part of it and the reason why i wanted to talk about that is simply because i'm a very big advocate for natural plant usage for small ailments or you know non-life-threatening issues i think that there is a lot of knowledge out there about using certain plants to your advantage to lessen your symptoms or in some cases reverse them or in some cases you know just alleviate them and i know that maybe some people may feel that that's a little hypocritical since i've gone into the emergency medical field the emergency medicine field if you will but i'm here to tell you that it's not actually a contradiction in really any way because at the end of the day and by the way before i continue I should have said this earlier. I am not a doctor or a high level medical professional. I am an EMT and I, right now I am currently trying to get through the fire academy to become a firefighter EMT then later on a firefighter paramedic. So whatever I'm saying about medical plants and all that kind of stuff, you know, I'm just an advocate. You know, this, these are things that have worked great for me and I have been able to use a lot of my knowledge of plants to use them for various purposes and they have really helped me it's really worked for me that's all i can really say so anything you decide to do is purely at your own risk now my basis on understanding of medication for alleviating symptoms of certain illnesses in particular non-life-threatening sicknesses or illnesses is that simply put i don't believe that medication modern medication pills uh really fix many problems at all you know i could be wrong but from my understanding it's kind of just a little pass to you know temporarily fix something uh kind of sort of uh in a way that you don't have to make any substantial changes or any sort of yeah any sort of lifestyle changes it just kind of helps you not change <laughs> you know it's just like something that helps you out in the moment could potentially make things worse in the future but right now it's going to alleviate it it's going to you know simmer it down and stuff and that's what's prescribed on you know mass you know and and that does a lot of damage over time to my knowledge and from what i've studied a lot of damage over time to the liver and other organs in your body so i don't i'm not really a fan of you know tablets or uh pill medications i don't think that they are healthy in my opinion in my experience I feel like it is just common sense that plants used in medicine for moderate to you know very low level illnesses just work proficiently and are easily absorbed into the body more often than not and I've had good experience with that and in the future I will show off my little collection you know I'll show you one right now just to give you a little idea of like what i have for plant medication so like i have dried lavender right here helps me go to sleep uh, i'll use it you know i'll put it in my tea and stuff helps calm my nerves helps me go to sleep i have spanish needles right here spanish needles right here and i just finished drying some more and uh these help out a lot uh, they're good antiseptic anti-inflammatory all that good stuff this is you know this is a weed you know and i'll get into i'll get more in depth into that in another video but basically yes for non-life-threatening illnesses i'll say it again for non-life-threatening illnesses i use that as my medication now as far as how that relates to me and my future jobs in my future field of work emergency medicine is for emergencies plants and all that are not going to really help you out too much in an emergency so with the current knowledge that i have and obviously from you know all kinds of field experience that many people have had 
you know these these medications that are on ambulances and on engine companies and, and uh, rescues and all that all the medications that are being used in these situations are for emergency situations these are not medications you know that's why you need to learn to administer certain doses and you know know all the contraindications to administering certain certain medications and all that these are emergency medicines this is emergency medical attention you are going to either die or be really 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 messed up if you do not allow for these medications or for the procedures to take place you would be really bad badly off we'll say so therefore yeah you know when it comes to a life-threatening thing i would never recommend someone you know to try to heal themselves with uh, dried lavender or something like that it's not it's not really going to work i'm sure there are very powerful plants out there that can do some things quite quickly but not quite as quickly as something that is administered by medical professionals in modern medicine and i simply just wanted to express my thoughts about it because yes you know i do i do heavily advocate for the usage of plant medicines for light illnesses some cases moderate illnesses but yes if you need emergency care little plants and all that aren't going to help you much get emergency medical attention okay <laughs> thank you for watching i'll catch you guys on the next one peace